Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to Vox Yoga. Today we have a short breathing practice and we're thinking about how we can apply some yogic breathing to our singing practice. I've got a playlist, yogic breathing for singers, so check that out if you haven't already. Today we'll be exploring a three-part breath. Now I've already got a video on this channel for Durga breathing where we lie on the back or we lie seated and we visualize the breath in different parts of the body. But today we're going to explore a three-part breath using our hands to, I suppose, bring more awareness to the area and heighten those sensations. As singers, it's really useful to be able to explore different types of breath. We don't always need that really big what we might call diaphragmatic breath, although we want access to that. It's also really important to focus on our ribs, that movement in the rib cage, and also we're going to want to feel breath in the upper rib cage as well, which might feel like the chest. So it's really useful to explore how the breath feels in different parts of the body. So let's get started. This is a pranayama practice, but of course we're approaching it um, to explore sensations in the body. So you can use this as a bit of a meditation, a bit of a relaxing tool, maybe just to take your focus inward. That's the fantastic thing about pranayama and breath work. It brings us into the present and allows us to build that focus and awareness. So come to standing or seated, but wherever you are, just feel comfortable and use the breath to keep the spine long. If you're comfortable shutting the eyes for this, then please do so, but you might want to look at the camera every now and then just to check what my hands are going to be doing. So just notice your natural breath pattern and if you're able to, breathing in and out through the nose. Just notice the flow of the breath, the rise and fall, and just where you naturally feel the breath in the body right now. You can bring the hands to the torso if that helps to gain more awareness. And once we're in these three positions for our breathing, you can just continue to breathe naturally in and out through the nose. You might choose to add a voiceless consonant, or a voiced consonant, to the exhale, or you could do ujjayi breathing if that's something in your practice. Just ensure that there's no constriction and you're having that really gentle sound that's starting with a aspirate onset. If ujjayi is not in your practice, then don't do it just yet. And we'll come to the first of the three part breath. So bring your hands out in front of you, just bring the hands together and the thumbs pointing outwards. We'll then bring the hands to the lower ribs. So your thumbs will come to the back of the rib cage and the hands wrapping around the front, fingers facing forward. You can apply a little bit of pressure and when you're breathing in, just feel like your ribs are pushing into your hands whilst you fill up the lungs with air. And then as you exhale, the opposite will happen. and just notice where you feel the breath in the body. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. It's likely that your breath will feel quite low here sometimes in yoga say breathe into the belly. We know that's not what's happening physiologically, but it's finding release in the abdominals on the inhale. So we have some movement in the rib cage, particularly the lower ribs, for the diaphragm to release down. Option to add your voiceless or voiced sound here. Thank you. 
after your next exhale, release the hands. Come back to your regular breathing pattern. And we'll come to the second position. So hands out in front of you once more, same position, but this time we're bringing the hands to under the armpits. So your thumbs will rest just under your armpits, hands across the chest, just underneath the collarbone. So your fingers are pointing together now. Again, just keep the shoulders as relaxed as you can, elbows pointing out. And then just come to the breath. Again, just notice where you feel the breath in the body, where most of your awareness is going to right now. So it's likely you might feel a little bit more movement in the rib cage, the middle of the ribs, feeling that swinging out as you breathe in and back in as you exhale. So have a focus on that now as you breathe and option to add some sound to your exhale. After your next exhale, release the arms. Just gently roll the shoulders if you need to. And we'll come to the final posture here. So this time the arms are going to extend up, palms facing forwards. We'll then bend the elbows and the palms will come just to the upper back here. So we're not pressing, the fingertips are just lightly resting on the upper back. Feel like the elbows are drawing back away from you so the chest is open, but we're not arching at all. This is a little bit much, just bring the fingertips onto the shoulders. And just start off by bringing awareness to the breath. Where you feel it in the body. It's likely with your arms in this position that you have more awareness of the top part of the rib cage, maybe feeling like the breath is moving into the chest a little bit higher. We don't have much movement, much sensation in the upper rib cage, so bring your awareness here with the arms up and see if you can feel some movement, maybe not so much up and down, but more laterally out to the sides. Feel free to add voice. After your next exhale, release the arms. Again, gently roll the shoulders if you feel like you need to. Then just come back to your most neutral alignment and come back to your regular breathing pattern. 
Again, feel free to shut the eyes if you're happy doing so, or just find a soft gaze. Now start to think about those three parts of the breath all working as one. Air is always just coming in and out of the lungs, but think about finding release and expansion on that inhale through the whole of the torso. Option to add voice to your exhale. After your next exhale, just bring your focus back into the room, the space that you are practicing in. Bring awareness back to everything around you, how the body feels in general, and have a bit of movement. If that feels good, just to bring you back into the present. Thank you for joining me for this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful, maybe a little bit different, but let me know in the comments how you got on. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit subscribe for much more content.